So let us shut up the project and I will show you in detail what we achieved yesterday. So let us start the project. So we have the map handler adjusted yesterday. So we can now hover over every tile with our mouse and we are in the right coordinate. And this is of course working for the standard view. And if we zoom out, it's now also working with the right zoom level. And as you can see, it's pretty accurate. And it's also working for the translation. So if we move our camera away, it also works quite good. As you can see, it's also quite accurate on the borders. So I think we have done this uh, successfully to implement our map handler, which shows us the cells we are hovering and we can click in future. So secondly, we added the debug button. We can now toggle a debug button. And what this does is when we hit the debug, we can then see the tile coordinates. So as you can see, we have a tile coordinate system where the X is going on a straight line to the bottom. And sorry, it's the epsilon, of course, not the X. The epsilon is a straight line on the bottom and the X is going down there. So this has the effect that we are here on the minus one coordinate. This is the minus two coordinate, minus three and so on. And now we can also see if everything is right with the coordinates and we can also see our biggest coordinate is right here, 16 and eight or 15 and nine. And also we have here some bigger numbers on the epsilon, but smaller numbers on the X. And this is because of the the rotation of the X and the epsilon. So, and lastly, what we uh, finished off the stream yesterday was the badger drop effect. I will also show you that again. So the badger is dropping and we have some kind of bouncy effect. And afterwards he is showing up some smoke over there. So this is what we did yesterday.